Oh, you are? Well, that's no fun. Why is that? It's boring. Yeah, triple thread collection. Triple threads with museum collection. Triple threads chrome collection. I mean, triple threads, tops chrome, and museum collections. Baseball guys will eat that up. I'll let you know which what exactly it's going to be. I would like to thank this publicly Carter for taking the time to help get all these breaks up. I'm over here trying to make the website better for you all. Maddie G is ready. So, while we're doing this break, do you guys have any ideas for the website that you've seen somewhere that you liked? Because I am really going to be provided this meeting goes well tomorrow with this guy and I like him and he shares my vision or whatever. But if I hire this dude, we're getting cracking. What are some things you want to see on the website anywhere else in any industry that you like? Uh, things you don't like about the current website? What, what would you like to see? If you could wave a magic wand and take over the TSB website, what would it look like? Oh, you're welcome. See, I think their website's super cluttered. I think it's way too busy. In my opinion. Okay, Anthony. Remember, the T3's not getting here till tomorrow or Friday, so I'll just create a graphic. I am going to do that, Jack. There will be a scroll of monsters. And there will be an area for maybe hit of the week person and maybe um, a blog roll or something. But I'm really open to ideas. If you have any, send me some right here. Top Shelf Breaks at Gmail. Boop, 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 boop. I do want a new monster logo, this guy here. I thought about running a competition, a contest on Twitter. Have somebody redesign the new monster logo. Give them like $250, $300 break credit for the one I choose. No, there's some, some of them, some of them aren't that cluttered. Some of them are pretty crisp and neat like smaller little icons you can fit more on it but some guys don't do as I you know I do a pretty good number of breaks every night 10 12 15 sometimes I need like 20 to 30 placeholders on the website I think it should be by sport I could highlight a few breaks like I'll have an area to highlight the blitz mix you know a big basketball mixer but in general you should be able to go to football and just see all the football breaks go to baseball see all the baseball breaks Which one, Carter? Baseball? No. No. Amy, you got the Broncos! Yeah, Kyle, this is the jam. This is the most broke product. Tyson had some good ideas. I want to have a, new, a release calendar. What's coming out and when. 
just information, hobby information. Hobby news, maybe I can tie into Breaker Culture's website somehow. I want it to be more than just come here and get your spots. I want it to be, I need to keep you guys on the website, reading different things, looking at different stuff. Well, we do have the sheet that we do each night. 199, Daniel Jones. The real game changer is if I can find somebody local here to do breaks. That's my real dream. My real dream is to find somebody who's kind of a carbon copy of me. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, that will take over and do the breaks all day long. I want someone to come on the air at like 11 a.m. And, and sit in here in the studio all day. Personal boxes. Mini mixes, big mixers, case breaks, new release, and just rock that out all day. I could take another night off and do five, uh, four nights a week. There's my boy, Eric Ebron. What's up, Tim Bradshaw? We're going to do that when it fills out. Tim, not Terry. So we have to close it out. That's the thing. I can't open it until it sells all the spots. Uh, we did the other side of the case last night. So maybe some, some dudes don't want to buy in it now. Because they bought in it last night. I don't know what's going on. but It's 1140. Most likely we're going to bump that. Which is good because it's a Thursday. The night before new release. I don't think I'm going to put up any expensive breaks. In fact, I might put up... Breaks 999 spotters. Oh, you did, Anders? How long ago was that? <laughs> you know, I had a whole career in um, radio, Anders. That's my life. If there's one thing that I know, which is really not a whole lot of other things, it's radio. Are you new here, Tim Bradshaw? Sounds like it. I don't recognize your name. 2775. Besides the fact that Terry's your uh, great-grandfather, which is kind of dope. I think that's cool. There's a Lamar Jackson for you. Ravens. Oh. B. Doc on card. Yeah, select is good, man. I should probably be buying some of this stuff and hoarding it for when Daniel Jones and Kyler Murray and Josh Jacobs and all these rookies in 19 take off next year. And this stuff becomes a $600 box. B. Doc is an eagle. There you go, Amy. Nice Hall of Famer hit. 15 years. Damn. No, Martin, he wouldn't because I don't have a lot of people because I'm not on the air in the daytime. Daytime is a huge opportunity to do breaks. Guys are sitting at their office bored in their cubicle, but I don't do it, so I don't have anybody. You'd have to start out, and I'd have to promote and get the word out, day breaks, TSB day breaks, day breaks, day breaks. And you have to have the products and availability and start filling stuff. Days are huge. You kidding me? Look at the other guys, what they're doing. OBJ, 49. I mean, Chris at Cards Infinity, that's all he does is sit there for 10 hours ripping stuff nonstop. What's up, Quinn? Oh, you're just getting into this lately? Well, welcome. I like to say you found the right place, but there's many good places out there. <laughs> Damn, I thought I saw some gold. 
A.J. Brown. That is a cool on-card auto of B-Doc. Mitch Trubisky. Oh, I do got... Oh, no, it's not gold. It's a camera J. Newton to 99. Panthers. Oh, we got a randomness. That's a mystery auto. Those are huge. I was trying to look and see what it was, but that's a mystery. Wowzers. Those sell for big money. Especially probably post-draft. Did they announce who the mystery is? Joey Bosa. Kyler Murray rookie. Anna Lamar. You love the Browns? Hmm. Did Jameis find a home before before Cam? Shiny Dak Prescott, silver. Mystery, Anthony. Mystery auto. It's a mystery. Number two. <clears throat> it is exactly XRC auto two. So Number two is Chase freaking Young. I didn't know that they announced the mystery. Oh, so it actually has a team. We don't have to random anymore if they announced it. Who is it? Russell getting this, Redskins. Yo, Tim Bradshaw. Yeah, sorry we didn't get to it tonight. We had a big mixer that you might have just seen. And we did those blacks last night, so. Well, what's the mystery about it? You just don't know what card you're going to get? Got it. That's cool. So that's a Redskins card. I see what they did. They did what they do through five. Got it. You just don't know which, what the card is you're going to get of Chase Young. There's Russ M. <laughs> Man, I love when you unable to chatters chat. I know, dude. I, I'm hearing what you're saying. I was thinking that it was just a literally a random card number two. Didn't know that realize it was with the draft. I don't know everything. Breakers don't know everything. Apparently, uh, UFC tonight had a good fight. Somebody got tore up. I thought that that 
Davis kid was going to win by far. Tom Brady Silver. Anthony Pollard, but Tony Pollard. Carter, not to argue with you, but you do know that there's been products put out before that it's literally a mystery. You just have to wait and see what you get. You don't know what it is. It's not a mystery anymore if they get if it says a second person drafted. There's no mystery. It's that player. What's mysterious about that? Why not just put a card from the second person drafted? It's kind of stupid. Now that I keep thinking about it more, it bugs me. Don't put mystery redemption. Just put second person drafted. I'm going to talk to Panini. Hey, you get a card from the person who's drafted second. Which fighter is that? The ones tonight? I don't understand how these wrestlers are still wrestling, man. These wrestlers are wrestling. It's crazy. They must all get tested, and there you go. There's a shiny Kyler. Shiny Kyler Prism Field Premier Level. Who has those Cardinals? Ken Kess! Where is Ken Kess at? Well, apparently there was an issue because Keenan was telling me that one of the guys is that that's exactly what happened. Doesn't sign with Panini. So they just like went to the next person or something. I just don't get the mystery part. It's, it's The whole freaking draft is a mystery. <laughs> you, that's what the whole thing is. It's a mystery. I don't know who's getting drafted and where. Just say you're going to get a card from the second person drafted. This appears to be the last break of the night, and then we got to get up tomorrow. I don't remember having to do this so much, like wake up and put up new breaks every single day. I feel like we used to have breaks on the website two, three weeks in advance for each night. There's another Kyler, but it's probably because we haven't had a new release. Usually we just put up all the new release for a week. DK Metcalf, 175. There's Rock. Come on, give my dude something good. Not a Daryl Henderson, but it is a nice patch. Oh, cool. I wish they would do that here. For those of you who don't know, I'm in Chicagoland. I live in a western suburb of Chicago. Chicago is now about 40 minutes west of me, or east, to downtown and uh, the way things are going right now is our, my kids won't even be able to go back to school. That's what scares me. Like I'm starting to get really, 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 really freaked out by all this. Not because of freaking COVID, but because of situation. COVID doesn't scare me as much anymore. I'm scared about the situation for our country and my kids and their friends and their livelihood and their mental health. Good God. Don't get me started. 
We have gold. Oh, there it is. It's chilling in a select box. Damn, yo, two of ten. That's huge. Who had these? And I just, I just said Ken Kess. Come on, Ken Kess, you got to speak up now, dude. You spent eighty dollars on this break spot. There's no way you're sleeping. Beautiful to ten, Kyler, dude. Sick. That's a good. That's a good subject changer. Way to go, Ken Kess. Oh, too bad it's not 1 of 10. It's 2 of 10. Which, technically, you could argue it's a eBay 101 because it's just one number above 1, which is his jersey number. So there's really only one of these 2 of 10s that are one number above his jersey number. So eBay 1 of 1, 2 of 10. Sweet. And a 99 Zeke. I mean, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't know. I feel like I'm totally at the mercy of politicians and that really bugs me even more. Let's go see if we had any hero closers at that price point. I don't know. If it was like a $29 bad boy, we could have had some heroes. But it's difficult for somebody to... I mean, you had a lot of Kyler Murrays. Golds, a couple rookies. I think you had a silver. You did have a silver. Silver Kyler, gold Kyler. I think you got another one or two regular rookies. Dashboard's going slow. All right, homies, it's midnight. We're going to move Spectra and Black to tomorrow night. And no Broncos for Amy. Let's do a Chatters win. Amy, hit that. Or whoever's listening. Whoever hits the first one. First one and one and only winner. We'll see if we can leave on a good note with a uh, Sage Pack. I'm already up over $1,000 of Sage Packs I've awarded you all. Let's do another one. Chris, can you make a um, short print one of these, but with my face? Me, uh, me doing that? Patrick wins. Which one, Matthew G? What? Which one are you talking about? Which one is it? Your DK Metcalf? Is it a hit? That's funny. Daniel Dalvin Cleland. We got a DK Metcalf in this. DK Metcalf. 
He might have been talking about another break. Patrick, my longtime buddy and friend and pal, who I was looking very forward to meeting at the National this year. Damn it. You know the best thing to do right now, and I, I won't harp on about COVID, but um, look, there's another Kyler for you. I, I'm just going to not think about everything and just put my nose to the grindstone and work and um, try to hang out with my kids in my backyard all summer. Other than that, I'm just going to have to wait till September and October and Look forward to football, I guess. Oh, Shane Zilstra. I know Patrick got a big hit out of this when he won these packs in a blitz mix or something before, so... I do know that they exist. Right, Patrick? But it doesn't matter because you're getting this. 101 printing plate of Donruss, Josh Allen Auto. Was it numbered? Yeah, here you go. Sometimes I set them over to the side by themselves. And I just do them when I get off the air or put them in the back and Tommy does them. But I try to give my sorter a head start by at least top loading and sleeving every and anything that um, is 99 or less. Or my boy, Kyler. Kyler Murray. Has DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins! What about a 10? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 Tua. You're saying number to 10. We pulled a sick Tua the other night to 5. But, yeah, it was a, it was a Tua auto from Sage. 